It was actually after I had my son where I was struggling a lot with school because I was like, I want to have time for him and I still want to have time for school, but I could never find a balance. When I was 15 years old, my dad passed away. He had an aneurysm. I depended on him for everything. I have a younger brother and a younger sister also, and they looked up to me. I've always been a natural caretaker, and I am actively always trying to be a role model. I have to finish school faster. I have to get things done faster so that we're not struggling, you know. I need money now. I need to start taking care of my family now. And that's when I looked into ACC, and I found the LVN program. I think I was just Googling nursing schools near me, ACC actually was the one that stood out because it was like number one program in Texas. My plan is to graduate the top of my class so that I'm able to get a really good job so I can take care of me and my family. So that's my goal really. I expect to graduate this December 2020. Hello to everyone, thank you for joining us. You know, we haven't uh, witnessed things like this. We're in uncharted territories. We haven't seen this happen probably since the early 1900s. Uh, it's scary times for all of us. This family at ACC has just come together. You know, we provide first responders to this community. We provide the healthcare workers, the IT workers, the manufacturers. You know, one of the lessons that I'll have to tell you that I've learned over the years is the secret to success is perseverance. This is a time to really test your perseverance, and I thank you for taking up the challenge. You know, in the spring, everything got shut down. Everything did. We were pulled out of every facility we had students in. We didn't know when ACC was going to be opening up. We didn't know if it was opening up, or we didn't even know it wasn't going to open up. Like, we didn't really know. When March came around after the pandemic kind of got out, it was the day before spring break, and they were saying we have to evacuate. And that's when I was like kind of nervous, like, well, we're just gonna be out for spring break, this will blow over, but it didn't. And when we came back, everything was online. There was no going back to school at all. I learn better in person because I am not distracted. I'm looking at that person who's lecturing. I'm not looking at my phone or hearing a noise like, oh, what's that? You know, like I don't get distracted easily in school rather than at home. Um, I think students who are kinetic learners struggle with the online format. 
you know, they're looking at a screen the whole time and they're not actually interacting with someone. Trying to teach nursing online is as awful as you think it is. It's hard to sit in front of a camera or in front of a, a computer in front of a video camera for four hours, because I have four hours worth of content to lecture. We're trying to do whatever it takes to give them the best experience we can within our limitations. Questions? Well, this question isn't about the lecture. I just want to verify um, <laughs> whether we're meeting at 1200 or 1230 on campus. Okay, so do you guys hear that? It's 1230 meet on campus. So meet on campus at 1230. I was very surprised when ACC started back up and I was thinking the whole time like, no, we're not gonna go back. They're just saying that we're not gonna go back, but we ended up going. They let certain programs, certain departments back on campus in limited capacities. We're limited in how many students we can have. We're limited in how many instructors we can have. We're limited in the supplies we use. We can't share supplies anymore. That's been a real struggle. We'll take what we can get. So they'll allow us back on campus to be at a simulated bedside so we can in fact do some of that hands-on stuff that we just can't replicate virtually. Take off your old stickers when you put the new sticker on. Okay. Have a good one. There you are with your entourage. Yes, here I am. practicing on high fidelity mannequins. These mannequins have a heartbeat, they have lung sounds, they can, they have a very limited vocabulary. <laughs> they can say yes and no, they can scream and moan. They have veins to start an IV. You know, they have other various orifices to do as many skills as we can do. So come on in, this is where we are. Put stuff, you can put stuff down. Um, I would like you guys right now to wash hands. I'm going to assign you a baby. Then you'll have about 45 minutes to prepare. Here's your baby. You're the nurse caring for that baby. Okay, so you're the one who's gonna lead the assessments and lead the interventions. Okay? Now, Elijah, you have a little five pound baby born at 36 weeks. Mom is A negative. Dad and baby are AB positive. So you have an RH incompatibility. Okay? So I've given you a, I've given you a bunch of stuff. Any other questions? Okay, dokie. All right, so get to work. I, like I said, I'm gonna step out for a few minutes. It's not an easy program to get through. Um, it's a lot of information and it's not just memorization and it's not for everyone and that's okay. Um, we have those difficult conversations with students sometimes. We have a clinical evaluation tool that we grade our students with. And so they get a one, two, or three. A one, they're unsuccessful. A two, they're meeting objectives. And three, they're exceeding the objectives. They have to be able to demonstrate certain skills successfully. If we do not pass any of our classes, if it's just one class, even if it's a one credit hour, we will not graduate. We cannot move forward at all. Ready to go, Elijah, are you ready? So, this is a little boy. Okay, his name is Ahmad. Ahmad. Uh-huh. Wish me luck. 
Okay, so I'm gonna enter the room then. Hello, my name is Elijah. I'm gonna be your student nurse today, taking care of you and baby. Hi, this is Ahmad. We just Ahmad. Ahmad. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so. We're just tired. He's just really sleepy. He's completely wiped out. He is. Yeah, he's been sleeping all morning. I last nursed him like. I don't know, it's seven. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember when I nursed him last. Okay, well, let me go ahead and assess him really quick just to see. Let me get some vitals on him. Okay, so you get a temperature and his mm -hmm. temperature is 97.9. So the you get an apical pulse and the baby's apical pulse is right at 160. So you get a respiratory rate of um, 59. 59? Uh -huh. And he fussed a little bit when you undid his ch undid his blanket to look at his chest, but then he just goes right back to sleep. Okay. Okay. Well, let me just take a better look at him because I want to look at his skin. So where exactly are you looking for the discoloration? Okay. What patterns do you expect to see? Okay. Okay, so I could look in the eyes. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm looking in the eyes. And when you open his little eyes, he kind of crunches them a little bit, but you can see that his sclera is yellow. So, Mom, I don't want to alarm you, but that is just kind of a symptom of jaundice. Jaundice? It's jaundice, yes. Is he sick? Is he going to die? Well, we're going to take good care of him. And it was, this was a yes or no question. <laughs> you didn't say um, no. I'm gonna do everything I can to prevent that. And Pause. Okay. Good job so far. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job so far. No, you're fine. Okay. So we've established this kid is jaundice. Yes. We need treatment. Yes. What are we gonna do? So. What are we gonna do? Well. That's all I had. Thought you did. Would... Did you ever see the word phototherapy? Oh yes, I did. Oh, see that. right there's the, I don't know a whole policy I on it. Just, everything just went out of my head. I can okay, see yes. that. I saw it like little birds. It's a lot of information. I was overwhelmed at first, but now I can yeah. sort it and, out. And that's and that's how this always works. It's a lot of information, and you have nothing to go by. Like you have no base for this. You have no previous experience. And you're a parent. I know. And I'm like, I don't know none of this. <laughs> How did my kids survive? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. If you guys don't have any other questions, we can be done for the day. All right. Thank you guys very much. So in order to be successful, um, Benchmarks would be, of course, passing their exams, ultimately to pass, the, to pass a course. We test students um, from a knowledge base and we build on that. So level one is more of a foundation um, and then level two is more kind of entry, very beginning levels of um, nursing care. And then in level three is kind of putting it all together. Um, and so they have to progress from one level to the other, and then they have to do skills and show that they can continue, carry over what they learned from level one into level two. So when they come into the beginning of a semester, they have to take a pharmacology exam, and they also have to take a skills-based uh, competency. Our students take um, what we call module exams throughout the semester. And then at the end of the semester, they will take a final exam that is usually comprehensive. So it encompasses everything they've learned over the semester and it's just sort of, do you remember all of that? Well, right now I'm just overwhelmed because I didn't do well during my simulation. I can't remember all of that, then I'm not gonna do good on my final. Everything, it just would have been for just nothing. I'm going to just dig a lot deeper than what I have been. I'm going to study harder, and I'm gonna study every single day.
studying. I've been up all night this whole weekend studying. I'm exhausted. I'm just at my last leg right now. I've done okay on the labs, on the simulations, on the homework quizzes, but it's really down to this final. And if I don't do well on this final, then I'm not going to graduate. Guys, I'm in the car and I am on my way to school now. I'm still studying as we speak. I'm playing our lecture videos over just to make sure like I catch something that, you know, I didn't study or something, you know, just to just to be super thorough. Come in, um, foam, gloves, grab a pencil. Sherry went to go get scratch paper. So as soon as, aha, Sherry grabbed scratch paper. Um, so foam, gloves, pencil, scratch paper. The pencil is yours to keep. All right, are you guys good? Okay, come on in. And remember, yeah. nothing in your pockets. If a phone goes off, I'm gonna answer it. And I can't promise you what I'm gonna say. The students that we've lost due to whatever reasons, maybe it's personal, maybe it's the learning style, whatever it may be, those students were awarded incomplete. You know, we take the education of our students very seriously because the profession is a very serious profession. You need to think long and hard about whether this is something you would like to do, and we're not offended if it's not something you want to do because it's not for everybody. Welcome 
to the Fall 2020 Austin Community College District Virtual Commencement. Despite the fears and uncertainty surrounding the global pandemic, you have persevered. Graduates of 2020, we now send you off to change the world. Remember, with hope on your side, you can achieve anything. Good job on the test. Thank you, honey. Love you. Yeah. I passed. <laughs> I feel very strongly about the nursing profession and I want my students to be the best nurses they can be. The ultimate reward is to hear graduates come back to us and say, I did this for this patient. I was recognized at work um, for my outstanding bedside manner and knowing I had a part in that um, is incredibly rewarding. I really think everyone in our department really loves what they do. And so I think we're just really fortunate to have what we have from ACC. It's a really good thing. And ACC is so well respected in this community. It really is. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to work here. We are encouraged by you. We admire your perseverance. And we are so very proud of you. We now send you off to change the world. Hey, yes, yes. Congratulations, everybody. Um, at one time, we thought that we may have to adjust our grades because of the COVID. These students stepped up to the par. They stepped up to our bar of expectation. We did not lower it, and they stepped up and they performed. They would not be graduating from this program if they did not make the academic requirements, nor the clinical requirements and the expectation that, that we have before them. Okay, we're gonna move forward. And at this time, I would like to bring uh, to the forefront, uh, Elijah Wilson, who will bring the, uh, the graduation class speech. Elijah. So first, I'd like to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak for our class. I have never had the pleasure of being a class speaker. And when I was nominated, I remember panicking, thinking, what am I going to speak about? We did it. The sacrifices, the tears, the lack of sleep, not being involved with our families like we used to and not having enough time for ourselves. Today, it finally becomes worth it. I'm getting a little emotional. And so now, I'd just like to say congratulations to the Fall 2020 LVN class. And thank you for this opportunity. And I pray that everyone has a blessed and safe rest of the year and the years to come. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Miss Sandra. Thank you. Sunshine. You got me in my feelings. child to have a lot more knowledge than I did growing up honestly I want to teach him everything I just want to be able to teach him from my mistakes you know like every parent you know so.